So my brother and I went to Taco Bell the other day. We went through the drive-thru. And I think he got like a grilled cheese burrito. Uh, I got some of the spicy potato tacos, added some steak to them. And then our dad wanted us to bring him a soft shell taco. And you know, everything was normal at the drive-thru window. Well, I guess it was a little bit weird. Like the dude that was at the window, I don't know if it's the same one that took my order, was just silent the entire time. Like, I just pulled up to the window and he already has it just wide open, staring straight forward and just has his hand out, you know, ready to take the payment. And I hand him my card, I'm like, hey, how you doing? And he just takes my card, closes the window, and puts it into pay. But he opened the window, handed the card back, I take it, and then he just closes the window, no food or anything yet. And to this point, the dude still has not said a word, which it's not that big of a deal, right? It's, it's fine that he's not saying anything. Stealing, slide step, we strike him out. But usually they at least say like, hi, remind you your total. Or after they give you your payment back or change or whatever, they might say like, oh, your food will be out in just a second. But no, nah, it was just completely silence, which is fine again. But it was a little bit weird. I've never had complete silence in the drive through before. Mondesi 97 speed and he beats it out. He's glitchy, but eventually the window opens. That's an error? No, that's sad. Whatever, man. But eventually, you know, the window opens back up. He hands me the food. I'm like, thank you. Have a good day. And doesn't say anything back. Just closes the window. I'm like, all right, that's cool. Is that a double play? Uh, so we're leaving the drive-thru and I hand the food to my brother. He just checks to make sure everything's in the bag And my brother's checking they got his grilled cheese burrito. They have my spicy potato tacos But they didn't have the soft shell taco for our dad and that's the only thing he ordered So it's like, okay, we got to go back and get it It wasn't just one of our things and we could just be like, yeah, no, it's fine. I don't need that so Oh, I thought we were maybe gonna get a double play. So I pull into a parking space, take the receipt, and then go back inside. And at first there was no one at the register, so I just kind of had to like, try to look back and make eye contact with somebody in the drive-thru. And someone eventually comes around. That's another scoreless inning for Brandon Webb, but someone comes up, I think they were maybe going on break or something, and they're just kind of zoning out a little bit. And he looks up and sees me and like jumps like I had just scared him to death or something. I'll try to recreate what he did a little bit. So he's just kind of walking, maybe looking down and then looks up and just, oh, sh and that low key kind of scared me too. But I'm sitting there apologizing like, yo, my bad. I didn't mean to scare you. And he's like, oh, it's all good. Uh, what can I do for you? And I'm just like, yeah, we went through the drive through and forgot one of our items. So he was asking me, you know, what item did we forget? And I remember specifically, it was a soft shell taco supreme. That's another scoreless inning for Brandon Webb. But directly after I said the item, I'm like, yeah, it's just a soft shell taco supreme. The guy yells like, I need one soft taco supreme. And if I thought that he was scared, what? Bro, I just got scared to death. I don't know if y'all heard my dryer going off. But if I thought that he had been scared when I first walked in, then I don't know what I was, man. I was terrified or something after him just yelling out of nowhere like that in the middle of Taco Bell. Like, it's, it, 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 the kitchen's not that big of a space in there. Mondesi's gonna be over too. At least he reached base earlier. After four, we're at four zero, but that scared me, man. Like, my heart sank to, I don't even know, below my feet. And then he's like, all right, I'm going to go on break. I'm like, all right, thank you. And he just walks outside. And we're striking out Joe Mauer. And I'm just standing there waiting behind the counter. It feels like it's taking a little while. I'm getting a little bit bored. So I just go over. And I just, you know, they have like the sayings or whatever on the sauce packets. One's like, you're cute. So I'm trying to remember what the other ones are. But they just got stuff written on the sauce packets. So I'm sitting there trying to pass time by reading their packets of sauce and eventually it's just taking a while so i kind of try to make eye contact with somebody and eventually someone comes around the corner we make eye contact and it's the exact same guy from the drive-thru 
And he just goes, hey, what's up, man? And I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm just waiting for my taco. Kind of surprised that he can talk, man. He didn't say a single word back in the drive-thru. I was just a little bit surprised to hear words come out of his mouth, I guess. Lead off single here, top of the sixth. Ricky Henderson stealing a base after getting a base hit. But the guy at Taco Bell, you know, he, he asked me like, hey, what's up? So I just let him, I, I let him know like, yeah, I'm just waiting for this soft shell taco. And he seems a little bit confused like, you're what? And I'm like, yeah, I was just in the drive through and we had a soft shell taco supreme in our order that we didn't get. And he didn't like jump or let out like a scream or anything like that. But he like looked super scared or worried or disappointed or something. I don't know. He, he had like a very worried look on his face. And behind him, as we're walking Kevin Biggio, there's just someone mopping the floor in the kitchen. But he goes back into the kitchen and starts talking to the guy that's mopping. And I'm just kind of looking back there, trying to figure out what's going on a little bit. Because at this point, it had been like 7, 8, maybe even up to like 10 minutes. And while the guy from the drive thru is talking to him, you know, he's just sitting there mopping still. But at one point in the conversation, he stops mopping. And at pretty much the exact same time, they both just like instantly turn their heads around and stare straight at me. And no one's really saying anything. They're just kind of looking at me. It was probably only like two or three seconds, but it felt like 10 or 15. And after a few seconds of silence, the guy who was mopping then just yells now like there's there's a there's a good bit of distance between us but you know if, if he had been quieter i still could have heard him but he yells like what can i get you what do you need and, and i'm not i'm not really trying to like yell back but i want to make sure he can hear me so i'm just kind of like yeah like i need a, a, a soft shell taco supreme please and so he yells back and it's like okay i'll just I'll get that for you as soon as I can. It'll just be a minute. And then the guy from the drive-thru comes up, starts punching things on the, the cash register. I don't know if that's exactly what it is, but he starts punching buttons and everything. And then tries to ring me up. He says, yeah, that'll be $3.29 or whatever the price of a, a, a Taco Supreme is. I'm sitting there like, wait, 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 trying to pull the receipt out of my pocket and, and, and telling this guy like, no, we, we were just in the drive-thru like... I didn't say this, but I'm, I'm thinking like you just saw me. You were you were staring straight at me, but not saying anything. But I'm, I didn't say that. I was just in my head and I was letting him know, him know like, yeah, I thought that was going to drop. But I was letting him know. Yeah, I just came through the drive through. We had this order. Here's the receipt. And we just didn't get our, our taco supreme. We were missing that in our bag. And then he starts apologizing, you know, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'll be right back. And he goes back into the kitchen again while this guy's sitting there making the taco. And I can hear the guy who was in the drive-thru kind of yelling at the dude, like, you can't keep forgetting stuff, this is the third time today. And so I'm going over back to read more sauce packets, trying to pretend like I can't hear him, but... There's no way that they did not realize that I could easily hear him. Like, it's not that big of a building. And that's eight strong innings from our pitchers today. We're winning 4-2, but I'm sitting there reading sauce packets. And I had been in there for probably a solid 10 minutes at this point. And another worker comes from the bathrooms. Like, he had been in there the whole time. I'm... I'm not sure what he was doing in there. I guess maybe he was eating some Taco Bell on his break, but he goes from the bathroom to directly outside. And we're on our way to the top of the ninth inning, but the guy finishes making the taco and comes over to me himself to hand it to me and is apologizing like, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to forget this. And he hands me a couple like free taco coupons. And he probably apologized, I would say close to 20 times and is like telling me like, this won't happen again, I promise. And I'm sitting here like trying to reassure him like, yo, it's really not a big deal, man. It's, it's just a taco, like it's perfectly fine. He gave me some free taco coupons which was sick you know like it, it really wasn't that big of a deal and i was trying to let him know that i was trying to be reassuring but he just he seemed super upset and i felt bad and 
I was trying to do my best to make sure that he knew, like, you know, it, it, it's really not that big of a deal. I, it was just kind of some miscommunication, I think. And then the conversation wraps up, you know, he's like, have a good day. I'm telling him you too, everything like that. And I walk outside, finally have the taco for my dad. And I open the door and on the left side of the door, so kind of behind it, the way it opens up. And then on the right side, like, would be standing next to me as I'm walking out directly right there. And the guy who went outside first, you know, the one that yelled back like super loud trying to talk to them about the taco. And now that I think about it, I I'm pretty sure they just didn't hear the guy somehow, even though he was yelling. I don't, I don't want to say at the top of his lungs, but it was loud the way he yelled about that taco. But he just says like, hey man, sorry about that. Hope you have a good day. And then just the other guy, the one who was in the bathroom was like, no, for real, man. Like, I hope you have a super good day and I'm sorry about your taco. So I was confused again for a second, just kind of thinking to myself, wait a minute. How did you know about the taco? But I'm just reassuring both of them. Like, it's really not that big of a deal. It's okay. We got it. We're good. And they're making sure like, are you sure? Like, we can give you some free tacos if you want. And I'm like, oh, it's, it's all good. Like, I got some coupons from the other guys. I appreciate it, though. And I don't know, like everyone was being super friendly and, and, and trying to like make sure it, I was okay. And I'm just telling them, and it, you know, it's, it's not that big of a deal. I'm a little bit more upset that I gave up this lead and I'm losing five to four now. I was winning going into this half of the ninth inning. And I'm walking Dante Bichette, bases loaded, two down. But we get back in the car and we're able to take our dad his taco, no problem. Circle change and we strike him out. We're down by one, going to the bottom of the ninth inning. And I'm not going to lie, my brother and my food was a little bit colder than we would have liked it to be. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I wanted to make sure that I pointed it out. The guys who were on either side of the door that were on their break or whatever were both smoking cigarettes which I thought was really a little bit weird on either side of the door smoking cigarettes. I don't know, it seemed like a little bit gross to me almost that people were smoking cigarettes on either side of the door that like people would be walking in and out of. I thought it was a little bit weird that the workers were doing that. And we have the tying run on base with Hank Aaron up to bat, nobody down. And Hank is gonna ground into a double play. Oh wow, I'm down to my final out now. I mean, that's the tying run on base and scoring position with 99 speed. Oh, I hope we can drive him in. I really don't want to lose this game. David Ortiz. Oh, I'm going to go home. Is it smart for me to go home on Andre Dawson? Did I tie the game? We actually tied the game. I just pinch hit for my catcher and I don't have a backup catcher on the bench. I need to walk it off here or else I think I might be screwed in extra innings with no backup catcher. And Adalberto Mondesi, wow. I don't know if he is going to be viable in ranked seasons. This 89 overall card, if only he could... Wait, do I have a backup catcher? I don't think so. Frank Thomas can play a great first base. I'm hoping he can play a great catcher. This is not a good sign for things to come in this ballgame. Stealing, this is not what I needed. Frank Thomas, no... Ch oh. Oh, I can't allow another base runner. We cannot afford anybody to get on base, or I think my opponent's going to run around me. And we are on our way to the bottom of the 10th inning. I have to at least score the runner from second, or else we lose. Do I go to third here? Would this be stupid of me to go to third? I'm doing it, man. I hope I didn't leave early. I really hope I didn't leave early. I did not leave early. Another one of those, and we tie the game. Juan Soto, please go yard. And Juan Soto's going to tie the game, isn't he? I need, with two outs, Sammy Sosa to hit a game-winning home run. I don't want Frank Thomas to catch her again. I just want to walk it off, win this game. Did he do it? I don't think so. It's 125 power, but he's just late. Warning track power on our way to the 11. Stealing. Oh, man. Wait, 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 wait. Why did I do this? Why did I make a throw? I can't be. I don't want to throw it away. Striking out Ricky. Oh, this is not good. This this might be where I lose the game if I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little bit concerned about the outcome of this ball game. I I don't know if I I should have done that. Like I probably shouldn't have even thrown the ball. See, cause if I would have struck out Griffey, but now I'm down by two. Let's try to see if we can come through. 
And we lose the game. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. We have daily uploads on the channel. Maybe one of these on screen you want to watch now. Or I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great day. Peace.